What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new vlog. We are in Mexico right now. Not that there's anything really in the background. So pretty excited to be Mexico City in Cabo. Cabo's probably gonna be pretty chill, but um, I'm really excited to be in Mexico because I haven't been here ever, actually. I've been to Cabo like a few times in the past. Um, but it's gonna be my first time exploring the culture really. So excited to take you guys along. Uh, we're just getting to the hotel, which is like a 40 minute drive. And what is it called, Habitat? Habitat. We're staying at the Habitat Hotel. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like inside. It looks cool online. I think it looks cool inside, but some people think otherwise. Um. All right, so I checked into the hotel and I'll show you guys a room tour later once it's less messy, but I just wanted to show you guys my first look. So this is a vintage top that I comped um, in, London, in London, no, in New York, in Brooklyn, actually. I'll link the store down below. Um, it's actually one of the most popular vintage shops in Brooklyn and it has a lot of, lot of really good stuff. Um, and they have like multiples of everything, so if you want like different colors or whatever, um, I find it's a really good place to kind of source stuff like that. And then these trousers are from Zara, um, they're in the camel color, and I'm wearing an extra small. And then these shoes are from this brand called Arawella, and I wore these when I was in Miami, but I didn't get a chance to shoot them, so I will be shooting them today. And then we have this bag here that is a vintage Prada bag that I'm styling from Retage. So we're going to try and go for lunch, and... Um, I'll show you guys where we go. That's actually the signature of this place. It's the only place that can still put the charcoal. Mm. And uh, regarding the, the poblano pepper, you can say the cheese is pretty much infused with the with the pepper when they put it there in the grill. So what they do before they prepare the the poblano is grill them, chop them very thinly, and then they put it on the top of the tostada. And what makes the volcano a volcano is essentially the, the cheese. So we finished four taco spots and my stomach is literally it can explode because it's all cheese and actually a combination medley with like cactus which is pretty good um but now we're going to the last spot which is going to be a mezcal spot and it's my favorite part because it's alcohol good morning guys it is the second day now that we're here yesterday was super fun um drank a lot ate a lot and i'm very full still this morning so i'm gonna do a little workout um, the outside of this gym area is so nice. Okay guys, so I just had a breakfast, or having breakfast. So we're starting off with some fruit, because you guys know I'm trying to do proper fruit combining. Starting fruit, waiting 30 minutes, and then having my main meal. So make an omelet or something, we'll see what's up there. Okay guys, this market is so authentic. There's literally slaughtered animals over there, but I literally can't go. And you just saw the scorpion that they're selling. The big ones are 120 and the small ones were 90 pesos. They're also super gross. There's pigs everywhere, I literally can't. <laughs> well, the other market's around the corner. Maybe that one will be better because that was really uh, not good for vegans, guys. So don't check it out if you're plant-based because you'll literally throw up. to market number two. This one's car called La Ciudadela and there's a lot more. 
lot, there's a lot better stuff in here. <laughs> something other than food and meat getting <laughs> slaughtered. Flowers! Alright, so we're walking through this massive forest that's like kind of a park in the middle of the city and we're gonna go see the Museum of Modern Art because the Frida Kahlo exhibit is in there and then the Anthropology Museum which was very highly recommended by like seven different people so we'll see what's in there just having a glass of wine here and and my robe because um, it's gonna go for dinner soon I'm gonna go to a Japanese restaurant because literally everything is closed here on Sundays which is very like typical typical like Spanish schedule um, but met some friends yesterday at the taco tour, so they want to meet for drinks and we're going to go to this place. I'll let you guys know what it's called, um, in one second or when we go, but, um, it's apparently one of the coolest cocktail bars in Latin America. So very stoked to try that out. Probably just going to have like one drink cause like I'm going to have this for now, maybe a glass of wine at dinner, maybe not. And then a cocktail there cause it is Sunday. I just want to take it easy. Um, but today we walked around everywhere. Um, went through like the Central Park sort of area. So I'm just wearing jeans tonight and sneakers and just take it easy and enjoy dinner. Good morning guys, what is up today? <clears throat> today is day three. Um, I just did a workout again. I did Caro Dar's 14 minute workout and it was great. It literally gets you sweaty and it's short. There is going to be a tour that we're gonna be going on. It is called um, well, it's for the pyramids, so we're gonna go see the pyramids. So, very excited. Have to get ready. I have 30 minutes and I wanna have breakfast. So, I'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, guys, changed and ready to go. I'm wearing a pretty basic outfit today. My Levi's jeans, my Comfort Guys Saw Converse, this crop top that is from Brandy, and my hair is still wet, but I put some like wave spray in it. So, hopefully, it'll just dry um, on the ride there. And um, I didn't bring a bag because I didn't have enough room and I only packed a carry-on which is super impressive So I'm using this um, Eat Mexico tote that got from the taco tour two nights ago Which is kind of jokes, but I'll just play tourist today Alrighty guys, we have arrived and um, that's where the bathroom obviously the pink is mine Which is predictable. I drank water and coffee in the car But it only took us like 45 minutes to get here to an hour. I just listened to like half a podcast episode, honestly, and we're here. I'll show you the pyramid, they're just in the background. Um, but it's quite the hike to get up there, so I'm glad I wore this up. The pyramid is right there, and now we're gonna go climb it. The line is so long, guys. We have to go all the way around the freaking pyramid just to get up it. Probably gonna take us like two hours at least. We'll see. Okay, first stair, flight of stairs. Kind of out of breath. Still got a long way to go. Let's see if we can do this. The line literally took 45 minutes, which is really annoying. into a vintage store it's called good folk vintage and the stuff here is so sick all the shoes are made in mexico and then they have a curation of men's and women's vintage clothing um 
my camera's gonna die, but I just wanted to show you guys why I was in here because it looks very, very cool. I just worked out, um, last workout of 2019, and ate breakfast before I worked out, but usually I don't ever do that, but I only had fruit and a bit of yogurt, so I think it's okay. Um, and I'm gonna be, ugh, I'm gonna give you guys a little room tour, because I told you I was going to. So we can start with this area here. So this is the sink. I love how it's like an external sink outside of the washroom, so that way the lighting is better for makeup, obviously. And then we go into the room here. So there's actually so much space. I laid out all my shoes. Um, and then there's a TV. This is honestly a really big floor plan, I think, for a room. Then my suitcase is over there with my laundry. And then the bed. Super nice, very low. And then they also have this mirror, which is amazing for makeup. And then I just brought it out to the side so I could see better. And then there's like a little balcony. So, I think there's like a street festival going on today because it's New Year's. I don't know, I heard some music earlier, but. But yeah, so I'm gonna get ready. Um, today is New Year's Day, so, New Year's Eve, sorry. So I have two outfits that I'm gonna switch into. Um, one is a Lorena outfit, which I'm so excited about. I got my seamstress to make a custom skirt to go along with the bodysuit. And then I'm gonna change into a red dress because I just thought, what perfect occasion to wear a lovely over, the top red dress. Um, so I'm gonna get ready and I will get back to you guys after I'm ready. So it's about 1.30 now. As you can see, I did get ready. I'm wearing the new vintage tee that I got at the um, thrift store or vintage store yesterday called Good Folk. Really great stuff, highly recommend. And then I'm just wearing my, um, not Levi's, my egg Goldie skirt with these new cute heels I will show you later that I got at Zara. And then this retouch Chanel vintage bag. Um, so a lot of stuff is closed here today, even though it's New Year's Eve. I can't even imagine how many things are going to be closed tomorrow on New Year's Day. Um, but one to go to Rosetta and it was closed, but the Rosetta Panaderia is open. So we're going to go check that out just to get something light. And then we're going to go to... We're gonna have dinner at five, so we really don't wanna be like too full. And I think I just got my period, so I'm not feeling the best today, as you can imagine, but just making the most of it. Yeah. All right guys, it is New Year's Eve and I'm in my fit. We're going to dinner now at five, which is super early, um, but it's gonna be probably the best meal we've ever had, at least here. So very, very stoked.